This is a pneumatic powered uh, draw bar. It's made from a $20 butterfly impact wrench um, and an inexpensive air cylinder. And it's probably 30 bucks, 40 bucks worth of, worth of parts and some time. Uh, I purchased the plans from this from a guy online several years ago. I'm not sure if it's even still available. But when you, uh, you take the top valve off of the butterfly, uh, and I made this lever to, you know, make it easier to activate. And you put a blanking plate on the, on the ranch and you bleed part of the airflow, air pressure off through these copper tubes, which will activate the cylinder. So when you put a tool up there and you press this, then it will impact and, and set the tool. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that great. There's uh, a few issues with it. One, the little impact wrench oftentimes will stall. Um, of course, it's not right now, so I'm trying to show it. Uh, there you go. So you don't always know how much torque you're really putting on it. I read somewhere that uh, stalling air impact wrenches oftentimes the the flow is not enough to them causes it to bypass and I've only got this quarter inch tube on here so that may be my problem I'm going to uh, uh, put some larger tubing on there and see if that'll do it uh, another issue with and and oftentimes then when you get it in that mode then then it won't turn loose because it won't it won't turn and sometimes you kind of spin it get it going but you know it's it's kind of hokey in that regards um, also uh, over time it's gotten to where the uh, the little 3 h drive socket will stick down on the bolt I think there's some galling going on I'm not sure if it's on the top of the bolt yet or the socket itself but sometimes it, it doesn't want to pop back up like it should to disengage when it's spinning. Uh, it's kind of a nuisance. I uh, think I'm gonna replace this little import socket with a uh, an impact wrench socket, which maybe it's harder, it won't have that problem, I don't know. But in any case, it it sort of works, but you know, it, I think it would be better to do the, the type of uh, power draw bar like Tormach does and uh, Chicago Lathe offers one for this little shop master. However, I've put this encoder in the way so I would have to build my own assembly, but they use a, an air cylinder and a Belleville washer on there. So you have a known amount of force on the draw bar. I think that'd be a better solution, but uh, this is what I've done so far.